What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with the boxing clinic with that real thing you dig. And um, I'm going to kind of do uh, put my conspiracy theory hat on. And I've been right on a few conspiracy theories. Man, I told you guys for a few months now that Crawford was going to fight the winner of Jeff Horn Pacquiao rematch. Or at least uh, Jeff Horn and WBO belt was his. And uh, I'm going to get to another you know theory that I do have. And it involves Constantine Pumov, the, the, the dude right in the middle. A lot of people don't know who Constantine Pumov is. Constantine Pumov, um, he ain't nothing special. I'll tell you that right now. But, but he signed with top rank. And, um, you know, he potentially could be Earl Spencer's mandatory. And I'm going to probably tell you why that's super important and how that kind of, you know, go hand-in-hand hand hand with Bob Arum dropping Earl Spencer's name as a potential opponent for Terrence Crawford, you know, even before he drops Keith Thurman's name. I'm going to tell you why Constantine Pumov is very it's very important to this whole scenario which we could get Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence sometime in twenty eighteen. Now Constantine Pumov was offered a Earl Spence fight to for for the right to fight Kale Brook to be the number one mandatory to Kale Brook. Constantine Pumov, his team turned it down. They went in a different direction. I don't even think he fought, you know, at that time. He might have fought a little lower level fight. So Earl Spence fought Leonard Bundu. Bundu was the dude that stepped up uh, for that fight. You know, Earl Spence beat Bundu. He did 6.3 million views. But the only reason he did 6.3 million views, let's keep it real, it was right after the Olympic basketball gold medal game, which Team USA won. So, you know, Kassim Pulmov has now been ordered a few months ago, or a couple months ago, I believe, to fight Carlos Ucampa in Campo. Which which means uh you know which means the winner of that will be the mandatory to Earl Spencer's belt. I'm saying why that's very important. Carlos Uncampo Campo I don't know how to pronounce his name is number three in IBF. Constantine Pulmov is number four. Um, number one contender and number two contender in the IBF is vacant. So basically, the winner of that fight is Earl Spencer's mandatory um, sometime next year. So what's so important about that is this. Constantine Pumov, I told you guys, was promoted by top rank. Earl Spence is technically a free, a promotional free agent. You know, he uh, he's the PBC thing where Earl Hammond, Al Hammond is the manager, and um, you know, you know, promoters rotate promoting the fights. You know, you got Lou DiBella, Floyd Mayweather, TMT Mayweather Promotions. You might have Eddie Hearn. You might have you know different guys come in and promote the fights. It's like a carousel of promotion, promoting fights. So what Bob Aaron wants to do is this. He knows Constantine Pumov and Earl Spence is is gonna happen. If if Pumov now Pumov Pumov loses, this is all off the table. But Constantine Pumov and Earl Spence is gonna fight for a mandatory. He said, "Look here, I know Earl I know Earl Spence needs to get his promotion up." That's what Bob Aaron said the other day. He probably says, "Look here, this dude is, is a promotional free agent." I know he's going to beat my guy, poor Mav, 100%. I know he's going to whoop him, you know. And he's going to take one of my potential uh, Euro fighters off the, you know, off the potential market. Everybody's going to look at him different. He, he ain't going to be the rising star that we thought he potentially could be when we signed him. But you know what? I can get an option on Earl Spence, or I can offer Earl Spence a contract because Al ain't going to let Bob get no option on Earl Spence, you know. You know, this fight goal can go to a... a this fight with him and Puma, I'd probably go to purse bid. And Bob Brown ain't going to want to go to purse bid because he ain't going to bid too much on Constantine Puma because he know he's going to get wrecked, you know. So, you know, he probably says this. Um, you know what? I'm willing to make Crawford and Earl Spence, you know. Uh, but, you know, with you signing this Puma fight, you know, why don't you go ahead and if you win, you know, we'll, give you Earl, we'll let you fight Terrence Crawford. We feel very confident that our guy can beat your guy. And it's just gonna it's gonna just come down to the simple fact that what platform this fight gonna be on. We already know Bob Brown said that um, he ain't doing Showtime, but I'm pretty sure you know Earl Spence has a Fox date this fall, so I'm pretty sure that you know CBS wouldn't mind having Earl Spence or Fox wouldn't mind having Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford on. CBS probably jump at the you know jump the gun to get that fight on there. And what's so important? What I mean? Why you know Constantine Pumov is an important ingredient to this. It's the simple fact he's a top-ranked guy. So this stopped this from going to purse bid. You know, Al and Earl Spence can make it. I mean, Al, Earl Spence, and Bob Brown can make a deal. And a deal would be like, okay, you know, Constantine Pumov 
can come to Showtime or Earl can come to ESPN. You know, I think Earl wouldn't mind going to ESPN. You know, we make that fight happen. You know, he beats Pullmoth. Okay, then we beat Pullmoth. We offer you a contract before you even fight Pullmoth. You know, but like, okay, you know, we, Terrence Crawford wants to fight you. You know, somehow he got the WBL belt. Is it by beating Manny Pacquiao or Jeff Horn? Or Jeff, Manny Pacquiao beat Jeff Horn. He vacates and somehow Crawford gets that belt. All right, we want to make a unification fight. You know, um, so we feel that your guy's probably going to beat Poor Mav ass. So we offer you a contract before the Poor Mav fight. If you beat Poor Mav, you know, you're going to fight Terrence Crawford. You know, if Errol Spence goes to ESPN, then, you know, they might do, um, they might return the favor and let, you know, Ter- Terrence Crawford come over to CBS Showtime. Or they might just do it on Errol Spence if it smashes, nu- or do it on ESPN if uh, Spence and Poor Mav smash his numbers and do it again. So that's why it's important that Pulmov is a critical component to this. Because Bob Barham just didn't drop Terrence Craw- I mean, Terrence Crawford and Earl Smith's name out of, out of the blue. You know, he knows that er- Terrence Crawford is probably, you know, looking at the promotion. He's probably not happy with how he promoted the fight. He might not be happy, you know. Once he gets the welterweight, he, he can't fight them other guys. Because he's in a promotional threshold where Bob Barham don't want to work with him. Even though Bob Merrill and Al Heyman buried the hatchet. So this would be a nice fight for the fans to have. So he wants to keep Terrence Crawford happy. He's very confident in character Crawford. Crawford's probably the only leash, the only fighter on, on his uh, roster that he let off the leash to go fight animals like Spencer Thurman. So it makes sense, you know. You know, to pull him off fight, give him a contract to fight Crawford, Crawford, Earl Spence. Then they can do another contract, a rematch clause, and the winner can get Keith Thurman. That way... It pays the way for Keith Thurman to handle his business. Or right, he wants a tune-up fight. He gets a tune-up. He gets Sean Porter, which is his mandatory. And then the end of 2018 or the beginning of 2019, you can get the winner of Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence. So it works out for everybody involved. It does. You know, Terrence Crawford gets Earl Spence. We get a fight that we want to see. Terrence Crawford gets his WBO belt. You know, then a winner between Crawford and Spence would probably be the biggest fight in 2018. Get Keith Thurman at the end of the year. And I think Crawford has no problem fighting three times a year. Spence has no problem fighting three times a year. It's going to come down to Keith Thurman is healthy. He only fought once the last two years. So, we'll just see. But, no conspiracy theory, man. We gone.